Finding order in chaos. Day eighteen. The duty of the moment. Yesterday's reflection explored the idea that if we habitually make the wrong decisions on life's small things, these little mistakes will culminate into big mistakes with grave consequences. In the same way. If we fail to take care of our small things, we may find it challenging to handle bigger or more consequential things in life. According to traditional Chinese wisdom, one must begin with disciplining oneself, then the family, before managing a country and conquering the world. Discipline must begin with the smallest details. Before working up to larger things, Jesus affirmed in the Gospel of John, chapter fourteen, verse twelve. Very truly I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do, and in fact, will do greater works than these, because I am going to the Father. If we are willing to follow Jesus's call to serve God, we must begin with accomplishing the smallest things faithfully. God's will is present in all of our life's decisions, whether the major or minor ones. God forges us by beginning with small things, hoping that we will learn to listen to His voice in everything we do. And to trust and follow His will, so that we may fulfill our mission that He has bestowed on us. Therefore, do not neglect these duties of the moment. The greater works are often the culmination of all these duties of the moment. When we ignore these duties, we are also choosing to ignore God. This demonstrates. What Jesus described as being faithful in a very little thing. As the Chinese saying goes, a day's plan begins in the morning. This saying is indeed full of wisdom. If we begin our work of collaboration with God right at the crack of dawn, and endeavor to accomplish everything that God wants to accomplish through us, His grace and strength. Will overflow our lives right at the beginning of the day. In this way, we will be empowered and encouraged to fulfill life's great and small demands and overcome all challenges. In addition to tangible rewards, we can be assured that God will grant us inner peace and joy if we follow His will in every decision we make. We will also feel fulfilled with our right decisions, and celebrate a life that is wonderful and meaningful. On the contrary, as we make a wrong decision, it will begin to lead us astray from the path that God has planned for us and wanted us to follow. Thus, sabotaging His original plan for us that day. One wrong choice. Can disadvantage us in making subsequent decisions, compromising our ability to make the right choice at the next crossroad. Since life's small details are intricately connected, even one small decision can produce domino effects that are far and wide. Therefore, we must never neglect life's minor decisions. At times, one wrong decision can completely change the course of our next day. Experts point out that our first decision of the day, that is, whether we get up or hit snooze, has much impact on our activities on the day. By the same token, our last decision of the day, that is, when we go to bed, directly impacts our activities on the next day. From a different perspective, our decisions, often directly or indirectly, affect those around us.
God desires each one of us to become a conduit of His love for others. Our every single decision can have an immediate impact on our ability to be God's channel to convey His grace to whom we serve. For instance. When we choose to say kind words to another person, we are also bringing tremendous benefits to him or her. Believe it or not, one kind word can save lives. The better option is always choosing kind words over hurtful words in our interactions with others. Indeed, this is more akin to God's holy will. If we persevere in making the right choices, we will be able to establish appropriate and decent everyday habits. Gradually, this will have a positive impact on our lifestyle. Over time, our character traits and life will also be transformed, making it easier for us to bear good fruits a hundredfold. Such is the hope of our Lord Jesus Christ for us, to bear good fruits as He lives in us. This is also the greatest distinction between Jesus Christ, the Good Shepherd, and our common enemy. In the Gospel of John, chapter ten, verse ten, Jesus said, "The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy." I came that they may have life, and have it abundantly. How do you make decisions in life's small things? Have you been hasty about them? Have you experienced any negative consequences because of making a wrong choice? At the end of this reflection, can you feel God's tender, loving care, and see His plans for you? Among the finer details in your life, where can you begin to better equip yourself so that you may receive the greater works that God has prepared for you?
Almighty and Compassionate Father. Thank you for patiently revealing your plan for me, so that I may understand your will and hope for me more clearly. Father, I am willing. I want to know your will intimately. I want to respond to your invitation in every single detail in my life, and to faithfully fulfill your mission for me. I am not going to neglect the minor decisions in my life, but am determined to seek your presence in each, and to closely collaborate with you, in order to fulfill all the good things that you want to accomplish through me. I now freely offer my whole life as a pleasing sacrifice to you, Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. For this, I pray in the holy name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now. And never shall be, world without end. Amen.